As a result of industrial pollution and sewage wastewater, Dead Horse Lake was designated a Superfund site in 1996. of the grotto enables the shark to approach the world with greater confidence and effectiveness. A school of barracuda frequents the waters around Trash Island, where they enjoy a steady diet of hypodermic needles and used pregnancy tests. Quite adept at hearing, being able to detect prey thousands of yards away. around Trash Island, where they enjoy a steady diet of hypodermic needles and used pregnancy tests.
Department of Health and Human Services advises against eating barracuda, so it's good that this shark knows its source. Primal instinct drives a sh this shark's cartilage can now be exported to Hong Kong, Taiwan, Singapore, and other exotic ports of call. As one can see, routine micro practices of risk management haven't really been effective in cleaning up this area. Wildlife management has never been a priority in Port Clovis, and so amateur hour begins. Scourge of the Swampland, by you with it.
Things are getting heated in this war of attrition between man and nature. Clovis's communal guard against shark attacks came after experimentation with animal sacrifices to appease the shark god, Laka. Shark's teeth can now be used for necklaces that tourists will wear for about a week before tucking them away permanently in a drawer. Environmental degradation is a novel driver for conflicts of all varieties. 